to the official second to last part of Brave. Now we did, this is Brave part six, we did five parts. So after we learned in Brave part five, Jensen thought he, no one actually needs him and he was ready to get out of the world. Maybe that was too harsh, but whatever. So then he didn't feel well, like he just had uh, a massive disease or something, but he ended up getting the flu and had to stay out of school for a week. And then after that, after a week, fast forward, he lost four pounds, which is good for him, so people might not call him fat anymore. And he also didn't think he missed anything, which was a bad mistake. At first, so when the moment he thought about that people might not call him fat anymore, Foster and Yannick was like, hey, you're back, and bullied him again. And then after that, he went to see the flyers and he noticed he missed the arts festival and so he also missed what happened because now there are signs of bring back felicity now felicity is a person in the art club which is there now in english class jensen asked penelope who was penelope who was also in the art club and she told that Felicity was dressing up as a really cool anime character for the costume contest and they said the skirt was too short so they decided to suspend her. And the teacher Miss Lee was very angry and decided to make it a class discussion. And it is really going bad because they decided a girl's clothes were more important than her education and there were a lot of things regarding people's clothes like someone used to be jailed for wearing pants and in 1938 also after that they had the discussion but it still didn't help felicity get back so they Penet Loki decided to ask Jensen to save, would she like to save Jensen a seat for to discuss about Felicity? And because at the first place Jensen did ask for her to save him a seat, but it didn't really work since she was also in another club. So she had to sit two places if that actually happened so it is logically impossible okay back to the story so after that he decided to go to the newspaper crew which was also a mistake later because talking about felicity getting suspended actually made akila and jenny had a huge fight because jenny thought that the uh, article might be offensive to the school board and they the club will be suspended because they did also have a close call of getting suspended with an idea of a drama club story because the teacher of the production decided to let richer people get better roles and Akila decided to do an article about that and it was filled out and it was rejected by the school board because they said that it was handled as an internal investigation and if you please stick to the school rules and if you don't your club will be suspended so jenny decided to not take any more risk but akila said that it wasn't fair so they got into a huge fight and akila was like well fine what about i stop being here done so jenny was jenny decided to like oh oh okay well then go away i don't need any of you don't come back and then Jensen asked Felipe, was like, was it a friend fight thing? Will they get better? But Felipe was like, nope, that is a real fight. I'm just gonna go and not come back for a while. 
and that went on. And when Jensen went to the art club table, there was a lot of coma in his mind. Like people were talking a lot of things. There was a lot of things going on. So it was more like he missed five weeks than one week. Like they, when they brainstormed, like putting more flyers, doing a fundraiser, which was chaos. And after a week, the newspaper crew was still broken. Felicity is still not back. Nothing is still great. So Jensen decided to try his luck and talk to Aquila during lunch to see if the newspaper crew could be better and they could make up. And then Jensen made a suggestion that it might be just a lizard brain thing. Remember when we talked about lizard brains in part five and part four, which is natural reactions to people when people were hurt and decided to use anger to protect themselves or other natural reactions like running away that survival that humans already have in their own brain functions okay back to the story so akila tried to try to talk to jenny again which also worked because they both knew this and mean stuff to each other and it caused a fight and felipe was like watching closely to see if like jenny was doing a bit better and after they made it up because they noticed it was just like a short lashed anger and frustration so they decided to try something that will help with felicity which was not putting into the school vlog or the newspaper they decided to start a petition and whoever will help which the art club helped with jensen and a lot of people and also a few other people and Jensen was trying to get signatures. He tried to ask so many people, but before lunch, he only got three signatures. Until he saw Foster and Yannick. And then Foster and Yannick was like, oh, look, it's a petition. And they decided to take it up and went like, with only three people who care. And then he decided to throw it into the garden. Jensen took a long time finding it, of course. And then when he finally got it, he saw George and Olivia, which he, Jensen asked if they want to sign our petition, which of course, knowing George and Olivia, they didn't just sign the petition. They got the whole athletic club to sign it as well, which in total, he got 23 more signatures, which now he has 26 signatures in total. After that, he ran quickly before the last bell to give it to Jenny. And then he, in some reason, was the last person. But he got 26 signatures and everyone was like, that's enough. And after that, they saw like a bit of teachers outside, like, we need to catch. Mr. Christopher was there, Miss Lee was there, Miss Tobbins was there. They were trying to catch the principal before he leaves and let's send this petition thing. And then after that, Jensen was like, oh, okay, he's gonna go hand it too. And then Mr. Christopher noticed Jensen and was like, Jensen, why are you not at tutoring? So he had to go back to math tutoring. And of course, the thing about this is when you're not there, you're gonna think about what's happening. So Jensen's like, he's on pins and needles. That was actually the, word that used to describe and like he doesn't know like how the petition will go and Yannick which was in the group actually made it worse will go like oh are you scared about your little petition or things that might happen so we'll leave it you for there and everything will be resolved hopefully in Brave Part 7 give a like subscribe watch my other videos and bye